A cold case murder suspect appeared in court today for the first time in Fauquier County. This is a case that's more than 30 years old, and as Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg tells us tonight, it's full of twists and turns. Wearing a yellow jumpsuit and struggling to walk, Ronald Cloud heads into court as the man accused of killing Brad Baker more than 32 years ago. It's the beginning of closure for us. Blythe Patino is the sister of Baker, who was 30 years old when he was murdered on New Year's Eve, 1980. Brad had so much promise, and I think that it's with great sadness that we're here at a time when he would have been 60 years old. During the hearing Tuesday, James Allen, seen here in the camouflage hat, testified that while working at the Kinlock Farm in the Plains, he was fired by Baker on New Year's Eve because his wife was causing problems. Later that day, Allen's daughter, Colleen Allen Holland, says she overheard Allen's wife on the phone with Ronald Cloud saying, Mr. Baker needs to be taken care of. Cloud's brother, Ernest Cloud, here with the ponytail, then testified Ronald asked him to drive from West Virginia to the Plains to deal with the issue. Ernest, armed with a 38 revolver, and Ronald with a sawed-off shotgun, approached Brad Baker's home on the farm, where a scuffle and shots followed. Brad Baker died from a shot to the head and groin. Ernest Cloud testified that he, too, fired shots, but did not tell authorities what happened until 2012. Brad Baker's family needs closure. I can't go on living this life. It has been a nightmare. I don't think they were equally responsible, and I think that um, I don't think Mr. Ernest Cloud was as forthcoming today as he should have been. Throughout practically the entire hearing, Ronald Cloud was speaking low but audibly into the ear of his attorney. And before leaving court, he gave a cheerful thank you to the judge. That judge deciding there is more than enough evidence for this case to move forward to the grand jury next month, bringing it one step closer to a trial. In Warrenton, Jeff Goldberg. ABC 7 News.